So a few weeks ago, after a shoot, a friend of mine, he had his Red Gemini dual native ISO 5K camera that, yes, cost a whopping 19500 just for the brain alone. You start adding all the accessories, we're talking about a thirty to $35,000 camera. So I quickly snagged them, put them in the studio real quick, put up my famous action figures. We got Superman, we got a color chart and focus chart, and I put a few props in the back. It was a real quick test. You know, if you're out there and you say, you know, I'm tired of seeing action figures, you want to see, you know, models and sunrises and sunsets and landscapes, hey, go ahead and sponsor. If you want that, go ahead and send me some money. I'll hire some models and I'll give you a beautiful cinematic quote unquote test. But I wanted to see the strengths. And if you're a hater of cinema D&G, you can stop this video right now and find something else to watch. And if you're gonna sit there and bicker and put in the comments, oh, why don't you just go out and shoot something? You know what? In my downtime, I wanna be able to examine when there's an upgrade or there's a new codec or there's new equipment. I wanna be able to test to see the quality and the results. That way my clients know that I'm knowledgeable, that I just don't know how to push the record button, but that I'm knowledgeable of the strengths and weaknesses of my gear and let's not forget if you upgrade to 6.2 you lose cinema dng and you incorporate bra so you have basically bra and prores bra is a variation of of prores with some metadata the quality wise but that's another issue you could check out my other videos to see those tests but i don't want to be on set or speaking to a potential client and trying to sell them the bra Okay, bra, I don't want to sell them the bra when they can quickly go on Google or look on forums or look on the internet somewhere and find the documented evidence to show that bra is not first, one, a two raw codec, two, that it does suffer in quality. And we'll get into that in this test. So anyways, if you're still on board and you really want to learn about your equipment and also see how it stacks up against this Red Gemini 5K and Red Code, we're in, you're in for a treat. So make sure you subscribe on my website, www.bmpcc4k.tech. Also subscribe to this channel. That way you get all the latest reviews, updates, and videos. Uh, there's a lot more to come. So anyways, uh, stay tuned. Uh, there'll be stills from each of the four tests, and then there'll be side-by-sides. And this is a decision you have to make because at the end of the day, uh, you have to decide what codec and works best for you. Uh, one of the benefits I hear about Bra is that you can now record onto your SD card, you know, the things that you weren't able to before. Uh, you know, the thing is, is you have to keep in mind, SD cards in my experience, are prone to failure. I've used SD cards before, and yes, they are prone to failure. Uh, obviously, no media device is 100% proof, but SSDs are very reliable. Knock on wood, I have had one yet fail on me, but I have had SD cards um, as I'm transferring fail, uh, which is something to consider uh, if you're using SD cards. I'm not sure about CFast, I've never used it. But um, also, all these tests are about the, the uh, super band and the focus and color chart is about six feet away from the lens, which is a, a good distance away from your subject. Also keep in mind, the color chart is about an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So when I zoom in on that, I'm pretty much zooming in on something a little bit bigger than the human face. Um, depending on your subjects. So it's not pixel peeping. So for those out there going, oh, you're just pixel peeping. This isn't by no means pixel peeping. This is to look at the detail, look at the color retention, the data pixels, and see what's happening uh, with the data per codec. So that way you can see what works best for you. Uh, at the end of the day, that's what you're going to have to decide. What works best for you? Does the camera perform like a red? That's something you have to decide. But looking at these images will help you make those decisions. Knowing your equipment, how they function, their strengths and your weaknesses. And maybe you'll be just like me and say, you know what? I'm sticking with uh, 6.1 because, uh, you know, Cinema DNG is where it's at for me. Uh, and maybe there's some of you out there saying, no client ever asked for raw. Hey, that's fine. Some of us, we actually do shoot in RAW and then, you know, render it out after certain corrections 
uh, or something like that, because sometimes you can't control the environment 100%. Not everything's in the studio, perfectly shot, perfectly exposed. Um, you want that latitude in post to do that. And my computer system isn't a super powerhouse, but it is able to handle raw. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, subscribe to this blog, check out all the latest and the greatest, and ultimately at the end of the day, shoot in whatever codec works best for you. Take care.